All right, let's move on to uh, obviously the team that the Bengals are playing on Sunday night, the New York Giants. And a lot of complications here as well. You will have to make some tough decisions on your lineup. Malik Neighbors, you know, with 10 days rest, I, I thought for sure he would be yeah. playing in this game and dealing with the concussion still. He will not be playing this weekend, which is a surprise that, you know, to a lot of people, he was a top three receiver before he got hurt. Um, but he will not be playing. So, we will see more of the Darius Slayton and all the other receivers that the Giants have to offer. And we've also, you know, we've also talked about the running back. Devin Singletary, a limited practice, could be playing, could be not. We'll have to, to make sure he is playing. Looks like he's on track to play. Mm -hmm. Affects a lot of things here. Your Wandale Robinson start, it affects that. Your Darius Slayton start, it affects that. Your Tyrone Tracy start, it affects that. Talk about Devin Singletary first before we get into the receivers. If he plays, do you still view Tyrone Tracy the same way or are you downgrading him? I would downgrade him a little bit, but I do think Tyrone Tracy looked good. And there's this, uh, I forget what his name is, um, but I listen to the New York Stock Exchange is what they're called. And uh, there's a guy, they, they watch film, they break down film and they're really good in the pre-draft process. But it was really funny because they were talking about the New York Giants this weekend and one of them was like, hey, that's what happens when you give your best running back on the roster the football. He goes out there and he produces. I do. And and we've talked about Tyron Tracy even yep. before the season started. Yep. I think that Tyron Tracy is the best running back on this roster. I do. And I think that that, that game last week, th th he's a rookie. They always start a little bit slow. Get him comfortable. I think he looked really comfortable out there. I really think he's going to push Devin Singletary. And if Devin Singletary plays this week, I think it's going to be really close in terms of timeshare and, and snaps and touches. I still would downgrade him, though, just because he wouldn't be the lead guy. If he is the lead guy, he's an RB2, 100% for me this week. Um, but if, if Devin Singletary, he'd probably still be like probably near RB30-ish range just because those two guys, I still think that Devin Singletary will play a role it wouldn't be a hundred percent, but um, I, I like, he's a guy that I would definitely not drop and, and just see how it continues to play out here. And a guy that I would just continue to stash. This is eerily similar to the Bengals scenario for me, where the starter is going to play banged up, could get re injured, maybe not full workload in the backup. Looks like they have way more juice. At yeah. least right now they do chase Brown Moss, Tyrone Tracy and and Devin Singletary. And I would start Tyrone Tracy over Devin Singletary, who for me is, you know, the back end option. The only thing is I'd want to hear how Brian Dable says it, like, yo, he's a full go, he's ready to go. Maybe he's limited snap wise, but I feel more confident with Tracy than I do with Singletary, who I think is limited. The only yeah. thing is he's been their guy. That's the one, the one caveat. And it's tough to say, like, you know, they're just gonna give the role to Tyrone Tracy yeah. just because he looked good. But if he gets 10 to 12 carries, I would trust that more than I trust, trust the 10 to 12 carries for Devin Singletary. I just would. And so it's yeah. not typically a thing I do. Like normally I trust the guy that's the starter, but the upside here feels like it's there for Tracy mm -hmm. and for Chase Brown, specifically though for Tyrone Tracy, who if he does take over and he's more effective in this role, that's a permanent switch. Yeah. Even if it's a, a 60-40, 55-45, it becomes a permanent move now, at least for the rest of the season. So me personally, I think Tracy is worth the start. He's a top 24 option for me this week. Like I would start him over Trey Sermon. I just think that there's a little bit more upside. I think it just provides more juice, like you were saying, than Trey Sermon does. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. He's, he's somebody I have a lot of, so yeah, hopefully it plays out. What about like Singletary, right? So you, you talked about Singletary for a second and it's like, He's going to go right there with some of those other questionable starts. Your, you know, maybe Ray Davis we're talking about, or the backups that play well, like your Braylon yeah. Allen, uh, your Tank Bigsby, uh, Tajay Spears. Are you playing them over guys like that, or are you pushing them down below those players with the upside of Braylon Allen, a Tank Bigsby, etc.? I would probably. Uh, it's a t that it's tough because the Cincinnati defense has also just been, it's not been good, and this Ooh. could be a game that. I still don't trust the Giants, but they're they're playing good football. I mean, they beat the Seahawks last week, and I thought that they had no chance. Um, so went out there, they beat them. Like they're able to move the football, even though without Malik Neighbors, I probably would just honestly, I would go with Tank Bigsby though. Um, and those kind of guys, maybe I would play him. Braylon Allen's interesting because it's 
it's the Bills, and this has been, you know, a defense that has Terrible given matchup, up the yeah. most, yeah, r- points of running backs so far this season. So it's close there, but I, I will say with Devin Singletary, I still think he sees decent work. I like, like you said, I don't think uh, Tyrone Tracy is just going to overtake him. Like he'll still see decent work. I think he's going to lose some of the work he was seeing early season um, for sure, but. Yeah, it, it gets tough, and because Tajay is another guy that he has a really good matchup too. That yeah, I just yeah, like Colts, I yeah. like that upside. Yeah, like with him too. So I, I probably would go with like those two kind of guys, but then it would be Devin Singletary after them. Yeah, is it, you know, but this is the part, right? This is the tough decisions we have to make, especially in that flex spot. Like there's a yeah. couple different options fringe wise, and for some of these running backs, I think it's okay to look at like receiver too, because receiver typically has more upside. It's just a little bit more floor. Uh, that you know, lower floor that you have to take the risk with. But as far as these Giants receivers, like obviously Malik Neighbors is a big part of like just making the season a, a special season so far for the for the Giants. They've been playing really well. But now you got these guys, your Wandell Robinsons, your Darius Slaytons. Um, there's obviously like not a whole lot here. Are you starting? Are you comfortable starting Wandell Robinson as your wide receiver three in your three receiver leagues, or are you looking at him as more of a flex option? Like. Because for me, I feel like the floor is there. There's just typically, I'm not saying it can't happen. Typically, there ain't a whole lot of upside outside of like eight catches for 50 yards. For me, though, yeah. <laughs> and that's honestly what it's probably going to be. So if you're <laughs> like, if you're in a full point PPR league, I don't mind that. Even like half point, I'm sure. I think he's, I would say definitely in a full point PPR league, he's a wide receiver three just because he's going to see volume. It's not going to be down the field. But the other thing, too, once again, Cincinnati's been dreadful defensively. Yes. Um, have not really been able to uh, – given up so many points, can't stop anybody right now. So he's a guy that – half point, full point especially, like a wide receiver three for me, um, for sure. I, I would feel okay playing him, in, in, like, in the flex as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's a safe guy. Like, safe. Yeah, he's safe. Like, 10 Most to 12-point type play. Because yeah. you know he's going to get, like, six to eight catches. Like, that's just yeah, part of the game good. plan right Definitely. now for him. <laughs> it may not go for a whole lot of yards. No, it <laughs> won't. You know? It'll be, like, what, like you said, eight catches, 50 yards. That's probably what he's going to end up with. <laughs> Three quarters of the <laughs> – um, But, yes, so I think that, like, I think that it's good – like he's a good flex option. What about Darius Slayton though? Cause he offers a little bit more like upside, I would say than a Wondell Robinson, a guy they'll use in the red zone, a guy who's been pretty much just seems wide receiver one over the last three, four seasons. It feels like, um, and, and has a role. And I think Danny dimes trust him in a game against, we talk about like this, this Bengals defense has just been kind of putrid lately. Like, mm-hmm. is he a flex? Is he a wide receiver three? Cause I think he's on the flex right now. That's where I got him. on the I, flex. Right yeah. Definitely. I mean, last week he, he kind of blew up. He had eight catches for 122 yards. He was was good. Uh, And is that going to happen every single week? No, but he's always kind of been this big play type of guy throughout his entire career. And, and it's something where, you know, there, there's some lineups I'm looking at this week for me that I, I'm like decimated, not just without people to play because I have guys on by also injuries. And I'm like scraping, scraping the bottom of the barrel where, I'm already kind of projected to lose. And and I think Darius Slayton is like that interesting kind of guy where there's risk and reward there, you know, high risk, high reward, where right. I, I, I'm i okay with throwing him in my flex play, especially if I'm kind of like an underdog because I do think he offers a lot of upside because if he has two long catches and could score a touchdown, which I, I think he's the type of player that offers that. And especially, like once again, Cincinnati hasn't been able to stop anybody. So I think that there's – there's things to definitely like, but just know that you could be at risk for an absolute dud, but I'm okay with that. Like fantasy, that's what fantasy is about. I kind of feel like, and you know, there was a lot of pickups this week too at the receiver position, right? You talk about guys like Darnell Mooney was picked up and like Jalen Tolbert was picked up. Obviously Juju's on a buy, but like when I start thinking of what Darius Slayton offers floor wise, even and upside wise, now you go to a Jalen Tolbert, and I'm like, I think Slayton offers a little bit more than a Jalen Tolbert this week specifically. He offers a little bit more consistency, I would say, than like a Darnell Mooney offers. So even though it might not seem like the best start, he's he's kind of one of those players that you know he's going to be somewhere around like five catches, 70 yards with a potential score. So I think he's right there on like the flex, right? damn near at the wide receiver three level, but like just outside of it for me where I feel good about him being in the lineup as opposed to like, I think I'm starting him because I don't have any better options. So yeah, I don't know. Like, would you start him or would you start like a Keon Coleman? 
I would go with him. I would just Darius take Slayton. the. What about yeah. Darius Slayton or like a Christian Kirk? Um, probably Christian Kirk, but that that's close. I think Christian Kirk is probably a little bit safer. But yes. I I would say too with Christian Kirk though it's going to be interesting because isn't Evan Ingram coming back this week? Yes, Evan Ingram is supposed so, to be coming back. I don't know. You've been close the last few weeks. Yeah, right? that's true. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I I haven't actually looked at him today at all. So I I'm I think I think right he's now. trending in the right direction according to Doug Peterson. Yeah, he's. Uh, would you start it, so. him or would you start Lad McConkey? I would go with Slayton. I don't like Lad yeah. this week. I like Lad season long, but this week definitely not. Denver's yeah, been just so elite against that secondary. Yeah.